Hello, mga katahanan! Kamusta po kayo? Kami po ni Mami Narlene ay lubos na nasisiyahan sa episode na to kasi ito ay episode para sa ating mga mothers dahil it's Mother's Day. Iba yes. Mami, how are you, Mami Narlene? Hello, Mami Fem. Happy Mother's Day. Ayan, nakared ka na. Ready-ready ka na sa Mother's Day for tomorrow. Oo nga eh. Oo, red rose at ika nga. Maraming salamat again. Welcome mga kaibigan namin sa Kausapang Pantahanan. Tama si Mami Fem. Ngayong araw po inaalay namin ng aming episode sa mga nanay. Mga nanay na mahilig yumakap sa unan. Ayan, dahil ang ating episode po ngayon, we'll be talking about pillows. Huh? Pillows provide texture and warmth to a room and helps with color and comfort in a space. It helps create a good night's sleep. But when not properly made or properly kept, it may create sleepless nights or uncomfortable nights as well. Our guest for today is an interior designer graduated at the uh, Eastern Visayas State University or IBSU. And he also took his BS Hotel and Resort Management at the Leyte Normal University. And at present po, siya ay Vice President of the Philippine Institute of Interior Designers, Eastern Visayan Chapter, since 2019. Freelance licensed interior designer din po siya. And he passed the board exam in November 2018. He is also at present instructor at the College of Architecture and Allied Discipline at EVSU also. Mga kausapang pantahanan, mga kaibigan, let us welcome Teacher Daryl C. Monge para maikwento sa atin ang kagandahan at kahalagahan ng mga unan or kilos. Teacher Daryl, take it away! Enjoy watching! Good day everyone, I am interior designer Daryl Monghe and today we are going to talk about pillows. So what do you need to know? So pillows by definition is a rectangular cloth bag stuffed with feathers, foam rubber, or other soft materials. They are used to support the head when lying down. The value of the pillow is often overlooked. What people fail to realize is that it is equally important as your mattress that you are laying in, in giving you quality sleep and relaxation. So in sleeping, it's not only your, your mattress, it's not only your blanket, but your pillow plays a vital role in giving you quality sleep as well. Okay, so the best pillow for you should promote a healthy spine position. It should relieve your pressure from your neck and support your head and neck so you can sleep comfortably. There are a lot of shapes. Um, pillows comes in various shapes, not just the rectang just not just the common rectangular one. There are also innovative pillow shapes such as cervical or body pillows. These pillows can ease chronic pains, improve sleeping conditions, and help you sleep more comfortably overall. Also, the filling of your pillows, the fillings of your pillow also plays a vital part into the breathability, the conformity, and the durability of your pillow along with its cost as well. So pillows are made out of a lot of, of material fillings. So some pillows are made of dawn, some made of feathers, dawn alternatives or synthetic fibers or fillings, memory foams, latex, cotton, inner spring, gel fillings, wool, microbeads, buckwheat, kapok, and even water. Okay, so types of fillings can, can vary from natural to synthetic materials. So most experts recommend replacing your pillows every one to two years. Replacing your pillows every one to two years helps ensure that you're using pillows that still have supportive qualities to your neck and spine, but also 
this assures that your pillows are clean and free from allergens. It is also important to take care of your pillows to ensure their longevity or a longer or a longer use. So question is why do we have to replace our pillows and why do we have to maintain them if we only use them for sleeping? Well, there are three reasons on why we have to maintain or replace our pillows. First is that old pillows can make you fall asleep slower. So pillows lose their loft or structure over time, especially if you don't wash them regularly. As they flatten, they offer less and less neck support, which can lead, lead to neck, shoulder, and upper back pains. If you're uncomfortable, you might toss and turn at night instead of falling into a deep restorative sleep. Dirty pillows can also cause skin breakouts. Dirty or old or expired pillows can cause you skin breakouts. So pillows collect dead skin cells and oils along with all the products you typically add to your skin and hair. This also as you sleep, this transfers to your pillow. Plus, if you drool or sweat when you sleep, that saliva and perspiration can also be absorbed and collected by your pillows. So pretty much you are sleeping in a cesspool or in a collection accumulation of filth. So that is very ano, unhygienic. And this filth, this dirt can cause you can cause havoc into your skin. So the combinations of oils, dead skin cells, saliva, sweat, they accumulate together in the fillings in the covers of your pillow and they become a breeding ground for bacteria. This bacteria can cause problems, skin problems like clogged pores, whiteheads, pimples, and even in more serious cases, cysts. Okay, so lastly, you need to change pillows, maintain them, or change them when they are expired is because old pillows can cause allergies. Old pillows can harbor other things that makes you sneeze like bacteria, fungi, and molds. This is because of the dust mites, the dust mites that are a common allergen. These microscopic bugs live practically everywhere in your home, but they especially love to borrow into fabric-covered items, including mattresses, upholstered furniture, and of course, your pillows. Okay, so that, that, those are the warning signs on why you have to change your pillows. So the question is, we know why we have to change them. So now is, when do we change our pillows? So what are the signs? What are the signs that we need to see to convince us to change our pillows? So first, these are visual signs. First is that our pillows already has lumps and bumps. So if your pillows already forms peaks and valleys and you feel that inside, you feel and at the same time you see that inside your pillows they are already crumbling or there are already crumbs forming inside your pillows and they do not maintain their shape anymore, then it's time to consider a new one. Second is that if you have observed that your pillow has already flattened, so how can you say that, it's healthy, that it has already flattened? So you find yourself reaching out for a second pillow in order to layer, to layer the height that you want to achieve. So you're already using a lot of pillows just to, just to achieve a certain height or to be comfortable. So third, of course, if your pillow, if you see the main cover of your pillow is already very dirty and already has yellow stains on it. So that is a very good sign to change, to replace it because it has already accumulated a lot of bacteria, a lot of sweat, bodily fluids, and dust. Okay, so last sign is that it fails the fold test. So what is the fold test? So the fold test is that if your pillow is newly washed and dried, try to fold it in half. And if the pillow remains in the same position and, and it doesn't bounce back, 
then it is a sign that it has already lost its structure, its loft, its softness, and it's time to replace it with a new one. Okay. So, of course, replacing it is, a, is an option, but also maintaining your pillows is equally important. So, how to make our pillows last longer? Okay, tip number one. Keep, our, keep your pillows clean. Keep pillow, clean pillows has more structure or loft. So, experts suggest that you wash your whole pillow three to four times a year so that is every three months or every four months okay so wash them fully and dry them sun dry them or use a dryer so washing them wash washing your pillows loosens up the fibers inside it at the same time removes the unwanted collection of dirts and oils and liquids that have formed or been collected by your pillow. Next is to cover to cover it. Okay, so you can use a zippered allergy resistant or plastic pillowcase cover to protect your pillows. So this plastic pillowcases or this um, allergy resistant pillowcases can protect your pillows from absorbing liquids or dirts and they will help you decrease the need to wash your entire pillows all the time because of course washing them washing your pillows regularly will also speed up the deterioration of the materials and the and the lifespan of your pillows so use a allergy resistant or a plastic pillowcase to protect your main pillow third is Frequently change your pillowcases. So a second pillowcase is also needed. This is not only for decorative reasons, but they also serve as the first layer of defense in protecting your pillowcases. So the secondary pillowcases, you can wash them at least twice a week at a minimum. Using fresh pillowcases will allow you to cut down the number of times you wash your actual pillows to every three to four months. Okay. So not only that, replacing replacing your pillowcases every at least twice a week gives you a feeling um a feeling of a more fresh feeling. So it's more comfortable when it is fresh linens when we are using fresh linens. Okay. Next tip on how to maintain our pillows is to choose the right pillow. Okay, so some people use memory foam. Memory foam is good because they retain their shape better. This filling retains their shape better than the other fillings used in the market. They can also be contoured so that they support more of your neck and spine. And also there is a, there is a study in Tohoku Journal of Experimental Medicine in July 2014 that suggests that these orthopedic pillows or these memory foam pillows are the best choice of pillows to optimize your or to improve or to maintain your good sleeping quality. Okay, so lastly on how to maintain your pillows is to of course wash up before you go to bed. Dirt and oil makes the filling of your pillows break down faster. So washing your face and wrapping your hair before you go to bed can keep your pillows dirt-free and bacteria-free for longer, making it more hygienic and keeping it cleaner for the longer time and extending the life of your pillows. So that ends my presentation about pillows. I hope that you learned something from me. So just a short recap of what we have talked about. Replace, important notes, replace your pillows at least once or twice a year. Once or every two years, I mean. Next is you can wash them at least three times a year or four times a year. And look for the telltale signs on when 
on when to change them already and at the same time maintain them by washing them, protecting them with a pillowcase, secondary pillowcase, and keeping yourself clean at the same time before you go to bed. So I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you and join watching. Day. Thank you very much. Teacher Daryl Monghe sa napakagagandang tips na ibinigay niya, Mami, para naman yung yes. ating mga una na oh. inihigaan every night ay tumagal. Yes. Diba, Mami, isa yan sa mga issue ng mga Mami. Naku, itatapong ko ba to? Pwede pa to. Kaya lang may mga nabanggit si Teacher Daryl ng mga indikasyon. Mm-hmm. Kailangan... Kay- kailan kailangan ng i-let go ang ating mga minamahal na unan. No? <laughs> Kasi minsan mm-hmm. tayo, gusto pa rin natin i-keep kahit yeah, 10 no. years na yung unan. No? Pero syempre, for health reasons, eh, di ba, dapat i-let go na yeah. natin. <laughs> okay? So sa ngayon naman, Mami, si Teacher Jari nagbigay sa atin ng mga tips on how we can preserve our pillows and um, ano pa ba, yung mga how to clean Ooh, how to our take care. pillows, how to take care of our pillows. Now, um, meron tayong additional info na ibibigay sa kanila para naman yung ating mga pillows na magaganda ay talagang yeah. maging, maging ano, sikat sa ating bahay. Kasi sa pamamagitan ng pillows, mami, ay napapaganda niya ang ating tahanan kahit simple lang, di ba? Ayan, at isa nga sa mga tips na na-research namin ni Mami Narlene na ito pa lang mga pillows, lalo na itong mga rich, bold colors. Mami, di ba may mga matitingkad <coughs> na throw pillows? Yes. Ba, ito pala ay uh, nagbibigay ng ganda sa ating sala. Hindi lang sa sala, mamaya ipapakita mo no? sa bedroom din. Pero dito sa ating example, dahil meron tayong na uh, background na color uh, parang ito ay uh, greenish no dark parang may pagka dark green tapos kino complement niya itong mga throw pillows na may dark shades din at iba-iba ang kanilang mga um hu- ano no hugis na kung saan ito ay nagko-complement at it creates a welcoming mm-hmm. warm and cozy yes. color so, yung palang effect nun, Mami, no? Kasi minsan takot tayo sa mga bold colors. Gusto natin mm-hmm. lagi pastel. Pero yeah. ito palang mga bold colors na to ay nagbibigay ng cozy feeling. It's a homey feeling. Lalo na kung ang bahay mo ay parang ganyan, medyo may pagka-dark. Ang mm-hmm. ating mga, uh, ang tawag yan, Mami, ding-ding, ano? Yung uh, mm-hmm. pintura na Wall. walls. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya naman, subukan natin yan. Baka naman, uh, itong tip na to ay may ya-apply nyo sa sarili ng bahay. Yes. And of course, Mami Narlene, ano pa ba ang pwedeng gawin sa unan para maging maganda ang bahay natin? Okay, ayan. They create a statement and a focal point. Having many pillows is appealing to the eyes. Ayan, a statement and focal point tayo. Having many pillows is appealing to the eyes and creates a story. Luxury bedrooms like this is overdressed with pillows. Imagine mo yung kwarto mo pag ganyan kadaming pillows, ang dami mong tatanggalin sa gabi. Pero sa araw, syempre, it makes your bedroom beautiful. These pillows represent a statement and a focal point. These pillows provide texture and patterns also. In this picture, it's so amazing to see lots of pillows. Some loves lots of pillows. Uh, they feel comfortable with it. So many to hug and for the leg rest. Just be careful when some of it fa- uh, falls. You will trip when you wake up. That's why be careful with plenty of pillows also. So bago magtulog, para makahiga na hong kayo, you put your pillows on the one corner. Huwag niyong pabaya ang magtakbo-takbo yan at pag nagising ka sa madiling araw, pupunta ka sa CR, maapakan mo, eh, mahirap naman. Gusto lang natin na magandang kwarto at masayang kwarto. Iwas po tayo sa sakuna. Yan, Mami Fem. 
I like the arrangement, Mami. Yes. Uh, may balance siya. And mm -hmm. Black pillow complements. Yeah, yung black the, pillows ang pinaka-focal um, point ko dyan. Ang tawag niya, parang checkered. No? Mm -hmm. Checkered um, white and black. So, tingnan mo nga naman, Mami. Gising ka sa umaga. Or mag-aayos ka ng iyong yeah, bed. Uh -oh. Tapos ganyan. Uh -oh. Ayos, parang asarap. No? Parang ayaw mo, uh, ayaw mo nang lumabas sa room. Oh, parang nasa isang hotel. Mm, Mami. Yan. Yeah. Yan ang ano eh, mga psychological effect pag maayos yeah. ang uh, ating uh, bedroom, no? Gusto, gusto mo laging nandoon. At syempre, mami, another tip. Ito, mami, maganda to. Kasi sometimes, yung ating mga throw pillows ay hindi lang for aesthetic value, no? Katulad na lamang po dito sa ating pong picture na kung saan makikita nyo po yung tatlong uh, pillows ay nandoon po sa... Uh, sa window seat. Yeah, oo. Kasi, ang corpus ho niyan, hindi lang para uh, nandun siya, no, aesthetically, pero to create the back of the seat against the window. Yes. Kasi nga naman, di ba, if you lean, di ba, mm -hmm. at hindi Patigas. malambot, tigas, no? So, yung mga ganyang uh, functions, talagang two-in-one, kumbaga, no? two-in-one. Meron ka ng magandang uh, throw pillows, ikaw ay comfortable pa sa inyong yeah. pag-upo kasi malamit mm -hmm. siya. Diba? So yan. So gayahin natin niya kung sakaling ganyan din ang ayos <laughs> ng iyong um, bahay, throw pillow lang pala. Okay na. No? Mm -hmm. Ayan. And syempre, mami, may isa pa tayong tip. Yan. Okay. Dito sa picture na ito, imagine mo yung chair kung wala siyang pillow and throw. Mm -hmm. huh? Support a pillow and a warm throw, warm of a throw in your chair. At makikita mo, ang sarap dyan umupo, masarap magbasa, at minsan masarap magmuni-muni. Diba? So, kung ka naman ay aalis, makikita mo ang ganda ng spot na yan because of the throw pillow and the warm of the throw na inilagay mo. So, nagko-complement yung kulay ng throw pillow at saka yung throw na yan. Yung parang uh, sinasabi na parang yung blanket lang ba na ilalagay mo lang. Yun ang tinatawag nilang throw. No? So, makikita ninyo nagko-complement yung kulay niya sa wall at saka sa mga green plants na nasa tabi. So, imagine mo a simple chair na papaganda natin because of the throw pillow. So, it's just a matter of selecting the right color, di ba Mami Sam? Yan. Tama ka doon, no? Kung makikita mo, Mami, may kasama siyang throw. Yung parang ano siya, blanket siya. Mm -hmm. Na kapag ka ikaw ay sa tingin ko, ang function niya hindi lang for aesthetic reasons. Yeah. Lalo na kung very personal sa iyo yung space na yan. Uh, uh, lalo na sa ibang bansa, kasi sa ibang bansa itong picture na to, Mami. And I think... Kasi maginaw sa kanila yan, diba? Maginaw. So yung mga throws, ay mga throws na yan, yung mga... Uh, uh, importante. Parang kumot, importante. Yan, to keep them warm. Diba? Pero hindi sa, sa atin, pag, sa atin, pag December, pwede yan. Pag malamig na panahon. Kanyang humid, <laughs> tinitiklot natin yan. Hindi <laughs> 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 yan pwede sa atin, no? <laughs> Kasi okay. alikabukin. <laughs> alikabukin. Okay? So, yan, okay. mami. Napaka, ako, na ano ako, na-inspire ako dito sa ating um, episode na to, mami. Kasi ang gaganda talaga ng binanggit ni uh, Teacher Daryl. And I know that it will help a lot of moms decide yeah, yeah. to throw. And of course, um, yung kanyang mga mga pictures na pinakita rin kanina. Oo, oh, oh, magaganda. Oh, Nakaka-inspire. Na pwedeng pwede pwede natin gayahin. gayahin para gumanda yung ating bahay. Plus these additional tips na binigay yeah. namin ni Mami Norlin. So, maraming salamat, Teacher Daryl, once again for another... Yeah, Teacher Daryl, thank you. Yes, oo. At sana sa mga susunod na episodes, ayan, no? Ay, mapaunlakan oh. mo po muli kami. Okay? And, Mami Norlin, uh, magpapaalam na tayo. Pero bago oh, po, yung ang bilis. Tayo, oh, ang mikropono, nais ko pong uh, batiin muli ang ating mga ina ng Happy Mother's Day. We yeah. are really, we really appreciate lahat ng mga nanay at talagang kami ni Mami na rin ganado kaming gumawa ng mga episodes ngayong Mayo 
para po sa mga nanay. Ako, oh. ayan. And uh, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube yes. channel. Ayan. And of course, Mami Narlene. Mga kaibigan, shout out Mami Fem sa mga nanay ng Patesco family. Yung ating mga officers and board members. Happy, uh, happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat. Mga kasamahan ko po dati sa TUP, Happy Mother's Day sa lahat ng nanay na nakasama ko noong ako'y nagtuturo pa. So, lahat po ng mga nanay sa buong mundo, enjoy your day. Kayo ay mag-day off bukas. Uh, pamper yourself. Uh, kung sabihin sa mga tatay, sila man magluto, sila man lahat, maging rain na tayo for one day. So, enjoy your uh, Mother's Day, Mommy Fem. Happy Mother's Day. And of course, like share, subscribe to our YouTube channel and if it is not asking too much please include Lalin's Project marami kayo matutunang man- pananahi, tsaka basic na pananahi na pwede magamit pang kabuhayan. So, Mami Fem, maraming salamat sa isang araw na naman yeah. and see you again next week. Yes, ito po si Mami Fem. Si Mami Narlin. Dito lamang sa sa Ousapan. Pantahanan! Pantahanan! Bye-bye! Bye! Happy Mother's Day again! Yes!